This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. All right, for number 11, we want to find out what percent of 25 is 12. Hmm, 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 hmm. let me see. Um, oh, I see. I can do it using a number line method. Uh, what I can say is, oh, this is 0% right here. And from here, all the way over there, this is going to be 100%. And I know that uh, this is gonna be zero, and we know that 100% of this whole thing, right, is 25, so I'm gonna write 25. I wanna try to figure out, let me see, where does uh, 12 belong? Hmm, 12, okay, well, I know that 25, half of 25 is 12.5, so 12.5 is here. So 12 is like, boop, a little bit to the left. Watch my finger, I'm gonna go, boop, a little bit to the left. And, this right here is 12. I need to try to figure out what is this percent right there. I'm gonna write P for percent. Like, I don't know what percent that is. It could be, it's not 50%. It's gonna be a little bit less than 50%. So uh, I could write a proportion. I can say um, P over 100%. So P, I don't know what percent that is. I don't know, out of 100% has to be proportional. It has to be equal to 12 over 25. See the pattern, I want P over 100 has to equal to 12 over 25. I'm gonna write 12 over 25. Uh, you could cross multiply and then um, try to figure out the answer that way or, uh, oh, 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 there's an easier way. I see that, um, uh, let me see, 100 became 25 because I divided by four. So if I divide this by four, it's gonna give me 12. Some number divided by four equals to 12. Oh, I can do the opposite, 12 times four. Oh, that's gonna be 48. So I know that my answer is gonna be P equals to 48. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, 48%. Because that's what it's looking for, 48%. We're done. For number 13, it says 25% of what number is nine? 25%, a small portion of this huge number is nine and I'm trying to figure out what that huge number is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the number line method. I can say that this is 0%, and from here, all the way over there, that's gonna be 100% at the very end. And I know this number is gonna be zero, and um, I'm trying to figure out what that huge number is. I don't know what that number is. I'm gonna put N, because I don't know what it is. And I know, ooh, 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 ooh. I know that 25% is the same thing as nine. So let me, let me see, I'm gonna cut this into quarters. Um, I know that this is 25%, this is 50%, and this is 75%. And I know that nine is 25%. I'm trying to figure out what that is right there. Ooh, I know, I can, um, cause zero became nine, cause you know, I added nine. So if I do it again, 50% uh, is 18. And then I can add nine again, that's gonna be 27. And then add nine again, and that's gonna be, uh, oh, 36. So that huge number, 25% of 36, if I were to get 36 and divide by four, like 25%, that answer is gonna be nine. So N equals to 36. For number 15, it says 75% of 124 is what number? Um, let me see. So I wanna take a portion of 124 and try to find that small number within 124. What is that number? Hmm. Okay, I can use the number line method. I can say that this is 0%, and from here all the way over there, that's gonna be 100%. And then this number right here is gonna be zero, and from here all the way over here, this is gonna be 124. Now our goal is to try to figure out 75% should be right here, right? So what is that number right there? So since it's 75%, I can divvy up this number line into fours, into quarters. So let me see, 50% should be around right here. 25% uh, is right here, and then 75% duh, it's right there. And I know that uh, I'm trying to look for 75%, so I don't know what that number is, I don't know, so I'm gonna put N. I can write a proportion, I can say 75% out of 100% is equal to N over 124. Again, I'm using that same pattern. 75 over 100 is equal to N 
over 124. I'm gonna write 75 over 100 is equal to n over 124. I can solve for n by cross multiplying using cross products. Um, let me see, 100 times n, that's gonna be 100n. 75 times 124, that's gonna be 9,300. And then I can divide both sides by 100 and get n equals to 93. So 75% of 124 is 93. Hey, if you don't wanna do it that way, you're more of a visual person. Uh, you could have done it another way. You could have been like, oh, because this is 124 and it's divided into fours. Uh, we can divide 124 divided by four. So 124 divided by four, that's 31. So we know that this is 31. And then if I go over one more time, that's gonna be 62 because 31 plus 31 is 62. And then add another 31 to this number and that's gonna be 93. Oh, look, same answer. Doesn't matter which way you do it. If you're, if you're a visual person, use this method. If you like you know, your algebra, you guys can use this method right here. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.